Hi guys, um, today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on how to install Android Studio and also the Flutter SDK. Um, so for this you'll also need um, Java installed. What you want to do is search Android Studio and then just click on the first link and well, I'm on a Windows so it depends on what operating system you're using. Um, so it should just pick up what oper operating system you have. Just agree to the terms and conditions and download. Um, and also what you want to do is type in Flutter, the Flutter SDK. Um, also the first link. It's uh, flutter.dev. Okay. And say get started. Okay, so once you click get started, choose um, your operating system. I'm on Windows. Here it'll tell you the minimum requirements uh, Windows 7 or later. Disk space 1.64, you'll need a bit more than that because you'll have uh, other IDE tools you'll have to install. And uh, yeah, Windows PowerShell 5.0 or newer. And then I wouldn't worry about the gift for now. Uh, here we go, download. Okay, I'll check you once those are downloaded. Okay, so for Java, you just want to search Java. And, uh, yeah, okay, it's made by Oracle, so download Java for Windows. And then just click agree and start free download. Cool, that's pretty quick. Click that. Start it up. Yes. Pop into Java. Install. Okay, once Java's done downloading the installer, it will start up. Okay, cool. Uh, for me, it's just an update, but for you guys, it'll be a full install. Um, so actually, if you if you have an old version of Java, it'll want to delete that and then install the new one. So what I'm going to do is uninstall. Okay, next. And done. Cool. So for Flutter and Java, you need to update your environmental variables to make sure that the terminal will pick up your commands. Um, so that's pretty easy. Type uh, env into the search command. Let me just do that again. So you type env into the search command and then edit system with environmental variables. Click yeah, environmental variables. And what's your path that you want to edit? Yeah, I've already got it. So for your Flutter SDK, you have to save that in a folder that's in your C drive. You don't want to save it in a say your documents that requires uh, elevated privileges to access the path and uh, then for Java you can add um, Java slash JRE and then whatever number it is and you also want to add the bin forward slash bin so to to the end and to find out your the number of Java you downloaded, you can just go to your program files, Java, and there we go. You want all of that and integrate into 
uh, your Flutter app, and they have a pay-as-you-go system where initially your uh, I think it's the first ten thousand users you won't be paying anything, and then as you grow your app, um, your you have to start paying for the back end. Now Firebase has so many services that you can use such as database, cloud storage, authentication, cache reporting, machine learning. I mean there's so much more. It's great. Okay, so our Flutter is still downloading but I'm gonna click on Android Studio for now. Let's get that set up. There we go. Okay, yes. Cool, let's go through this quite quickly. Uh, yeah, and virtual device. Cool, install. So Android Studio without the Flutter SDK is um, set up to use Kotlin, which is the language, uh, the native language of Android. And uh, I'm using Flutter because you got the option to deploy it onto iOS and Android, which is obviously what you need. You know? Yeah, finish. downloading some plugins. I'm pretty sure these are the old plugins that I already had before I installed them. But, um, yeah, I'll show you what to do. Just say delete. I don't think you guys will get that option. It should just be straight open. Cool. This is Android Studio. Um, they're telling me that I can create a new Flutter project. I uh, don't actually want that there. Because what you have to do is um, download the Flutter package. Okay, yeah, I haven't got my Flutter SDK set up. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, let's just go back. Okay, control folder. I'm gonna unzip this and okay. So once this is Extracted, I'm going to move it to my C drive and I've created a folder called source on SRC. This is where you want to put your Flutter SDK and in Android Studio when it asks you for yeah, Flutter SDK path, that's what I'll put. Okay, so once this is done extracting, I'm going to move it, but you also got to know that for Flutter, you have to um, you have to accept the licenses. Okay, so we're gonna do that. And also, when you if you ever want to check if your Flutter is working properly, um, you can run Flutter Doctor, and that will make sure you've got everything uh, installed correctly. And also. You can run a Flutter upgrade and that will upgrade your Flutter and your Dart SDK. Okay, so our Flutter SDK is done copying. And what we can do is make sure that Android Studio knows where it is. Okay, on point. 
apparently my new where it was. Anyway, I can select source button. Okay. Okay, so before you open anything, you can actually add your plugins. Uh, okay, our mine automatically added the Flutter. So this is what you want. You want Flutter. And then click install. And okay, nowadays Flutter includes the Dart SDK. So I don't think we need. Oh, no, here we go. So you actually do need this Flutter. And then search for Dart. Install that. Okay. Yeah, your ABD idea. So that can help you as a shortcut if you want to kill the app, restart the app, do any of this. So I use this, and you might want to as well. Okay. Unless you'd restart the IDE. Okay. So this is Android Studio Arctic Box uh, 2020.3.1. Okay. Um, so once you've got your plugins, all you need to do is so then you should have this new Flutter project button. Okay. okay let's open up the project. This is just a dice I made. Cool. Um, I just want to check. Over here is your SDK manager. You click that. And what you can do is make sure you have your Android SDK build tools downloaded. Let's click that. And your SDK command line tools. Uh, you need an emulator to render all your apps that you create. For now, that should be good. You got your play services. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I try. As of installed. Click finish. Okay. Now, what you want to do is exit Android Studio. Open up your command prompt. And type in Flutter Docker. Cool. Okay. Here we go. So my flutter is working fine. 2.5.3. My Android Studio toolchain. Okay, I need to accept licenses. Android Studio is good. Okay. So now for the licenses, what you want to do is you want to say Flutter Doctor dash dash Android licenses, right? You just copy it from the website if you want. Paste that, run that. Android SDK Manager. Okay. So actually what we need to do is open up Android Studio. Maybe I don't have Android SDK Manager. Update to the latest Android SDK. Cool. Let's do that. Here on the top right, you can click to all SDK Manager. Okay. 
the Android SDK. Okay, so you want to make sure your Android SDK command line tools are updated. So it's just telling us to download an emulator. It's pretty easy. So what I'm going to do is just uh, take Android 12. Okay, it's going to download the. Okay, done. Apply. Okay. Uh, don't worry about this. It was just error in code. Picked up that I haven't imported my animated text kit. Okay, I can exit. Let's try this again. SDK packages, package licenses accepted. So sometimes it will ask you to accept the individual licenses and then you just press Y, enter, Y, enter, Y, enter. Okay, that's good. We can run Flutter Doctor again just to make sure everything's all good. Sweet. Full setup. 